Hey, it's LTG here. In this series, we'll be working on covering 100% of the map in American Truck Simulator. Leave a comment and tell me where I should go next. Thanks for watching. I don't even know. I think we got reset back to a home base or something. Let's go ahead and come on, see if there's anyone at Jackson just to try to finish that off. Let's see. Just in the... I know this is paying a lot less, but... Just in the spirit, this is toys. We will take the toys to Jackson. So what are we going to do? Driving a Freightliner. Look at it. Alright. Pretty good looking ride there. Let's do it. Let's see what I does. Kind of like that dash. It's kind of cool. Let's see. Let's leave it on there. Can't really see the left side really too well, but let's see what kind of gearing we got. Six. It would appear that we have only got 12 years in there. Yep. What I think? It's here. Just kill it right off the bat. Does that sound a little too low? I think it might. Let me just turn it up in my ears and see. A little better. It's a little low on my end. Might need to come to a stop up here. And I would assume we go out this way. Hopefully this is the way we're supposed to go. Yeah. What it looks like. Turn left. Didn't like that shift right there. It's pretty unfortunate that my shifter yesterday when I was I racing just like quit right in the middle or right before race like I was just in the session ready to go and then just stopped I ended up missing the start so I had to start a lap down which was pretty fun get ready to turn left turn left oh that's a uh, pretty bad blinking sound All right, just going to full send it here, ain't we? So the right side we're not too worried about. Just have to go. The left side is where we're what we're worried about. I 
I don't know if this is an 18 speed. No, I don't feel like it. Just gotta be mindful of that when I'm skipping gears. Probably should have killed it right there, honestly. Yeah, I don't much like the the dash on the RPM counter. Don't much like that. Keep right and then turn right. Turn right. Let's see why. Why we just can't go on? We will not be hitting curbs today like we was the other day. Because in the video, if y'all check it out, that will be uploaded. I think I got it scheduled to either go live here in a minute or tomorrow about this time, which is Wednesday. But. Yeah, it took me a long time to edit in the curb counter and all that nonsense. So, we will try not to do that just for the me being lazy. Oh, what are you doing up here, yellow truck? Can give a screen light or not? Uh oh, don't wreck. We really not got it up to speed to see like something in my settings said broke again because I don't know I guess it only does go to 12 because this is not really stressing it too much intent and we're going 50 intent so might be all she's got Might be all that she has. Keep right and then continue straight on. But for this Go trip, on. I was going to discuss just the alterations in the stream and video scheduling because I was going to do high racing on Monday in the evening when the new official races came out and then this Go straight on. trucking on Tuesday and then playing older game throwback games on Thursday and then like I was going to do like flash game Friday but I've altered that already too. Just fun game, fun Friday. Just to play games that are fun. So, I guess we need to probably turn. Yeah, I know cop wanted to get a lot of some. Just playing fun games on Friday. Let's hear the jaybreak. Oh, that is just. Not good. Let's hear the horn. Keep right. 
I kind of like that, like a train horn. But on Friday's, it's going to be like fun games, and I'm going to start playing on Throwback or Fun. I don't know which one yet. Any game that's going to be coming out like a newer game will be played on Friday, but I will think I'm going to. Like say, because one that I'm going to be playing is Dying Light 2 whenever it comes out. And I think that I'm going to go back and play Dying Light 1 Keep on stream right and then, then make some videos off. out of it. But just for my current setup turn right. and like internet and PC and things the iRacing is going to still be a series but it's going to be just videos I'm not going to be streaming it because I don't know something was too like choppy or frame rate issues or something like the PC couldn't run it or the internet couldn't stream it in good enough quality so I didn't really like it even though my stuff's going to be more discussion and just community instead of skill or quality to be honest so we're not too worried about it but at the same time I just feel like I could put out a better product if I make videos and record it on my own time and another thing is like the viewer count live is very low for iRacing not in numbers but just to get the viewers so if say a race started it because last night for example I was racing sprint cars at USA Speedway and literally as soon as the green flag came out I got wrecked like one second into the race so that was like a 9 9 or 9.15 or 8.45 I think and the next race that I wanted to do was at 9.30 so then I would be sitting there trying to entertain for 30 or 40 minutes with no like like this right here this is something to watch in the background while I'm talking but while I was waiting on the next race to start I was just kind of sitting there so I feel like I could put out a better product if it's just recorded and then uploaded to YouTube separately so I can cut out all the downtime and actually make it entertaining because sitting there and just looking at a loading screen or a time or like doing practice and or trying to, I don't know it's just not very enjoyable for me and if I'm not having fun then I can't be entertaining what little entertainment value I can give so wonder if that scenic carrier would just pass something we could drive on so I think just for the lack of like hardware internet all that capabilities at this current time I think iRacing has to kind of go on the back burner a little bit for other more I, I would say entertaining but not necessarily entertaining like just from gameplay standpoint but less downtime and a way that I can actually like interact because if you're racing a hundred lap race it's going to be difficult to look over at chat if somebody stops by and says I mean just any comment that it might be said and I don't see it for 25 minutes because I'm racing a hundred lap race with no costumes or whatever 
So, I feel like I'm letting anybody that wants to stop in down. And then, I'm putting out a bad product because of the hardware that I have. And then, I gotta sit there and go through all the downtime that is iRacing. And that would... I just think it would be worse for... I think this is the intersection that's worse in the game. Get ready to turn left. Uh, I just think I could put out a lot cleaner, a lot better product if I'm streaming it. Or recording is what I mean. Alright, I'm not... I'm trying not to stop here because this turn one... Left. No, this ain't the one. Well, we're still not going to stop. Oh, yeah we are. Come on, bud. Just roll that stop sign, no big deal. Do not worry about that. What are them two doing? Fixing a fence looks like it's 10.50 in the night. I believe you think I would wait until the morning or something. Yeah, but I think Instead of going streaming Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'm going to drop down to Tuesdays or Monday with this trucking series. I'm not sure what day I want to do yet, but to keep these trucking and talking s series going, I'm going to stream this about four hours a week either Monday or Tuesday I've not decided and then Thursday throwback playing the old games or older than three years and then I'm going to start adding in like like I said dying light if any there's a new game coming out that I want to play on the Friday stream I'm going to try to finish the like the prequel games in the weeks leading up to the release just for a refresher on the game or like capitalizing on the hype of the new game so and building my own hype for the new game to ultimately be disappointed like I said gaming industry is in a bad way and it's, we'll be in probably the, the second episode of this on the YouTube's and then Fridays I think I'm going to add the time that I'm leaving off today like Mondays and add that in on Friday and either do like 6 hours or 8 hours I'm not sure yet and that would be like because I was playing Bloom's Tower Defense Battles too I played that for like 4 straight hours I don't really know if I will... Oop, watch out, buddy. Don't really know if I would like to do that for four more hours because it's kind of... I mean, it gets... Playing the same game, just like over and over, kind of gets a little repetitive. Like this, this has a lot of replayability to me. Because you're always going somewhere else. On that game, it was like, yep, I sent out balloons. I win. At around whatever, 12 or 13, whenever that one same rush that I either won or lost with pretty much every time. And it's just kind of, that goes, goes pretty stale to me pretty quick. So thinking about like playing that or playing another game for a couple hours two or three and then splitting the stream either every two hour switch games or if I'm working on like a campaign of a game just like try to beat, beat it or grind as much as possible I don't know but that's pretty much the the conversation about the scheduling that I was going to have. Let's see. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to mention that for the people kind of not really close to my area, but kind of in the tornadoes that just happened here recently in, I think it was Arkansas, Tennessee, Kentucky, and Ohio all are experiencing damage and loss of life. So I was going to mention if anybody, if you see the drop in the stream or you see the video, the VOD on Twitch or the video after the fact on YouTube at any point, and you know of any specific places that I could send donations or anything like that, you will let me know. I would like to send something direct right, and then to either a person or family or community center, something, something on. that I would know that it would go direct. Because I don't know, I've heard some less than ideal things from some of your bigger like donation places that'll take some money like off the top and but it's all I guess rumored because it's never been proven that I know of but I don't know I just know that if you could send something direct you would know that it was going direct you know what I'm saying so yeah let me know and I will see if I can get some stuff together and send it out to him because it was a very bad situation for sure. Very bad. Go straight on. It's kind of odd that Keep right the and then continue straight on. It was like Go a bigger storm that was in this time of the year. It's kind of uncommon I think because you would think it would be more of a winter storm like ice uh oh we're going through another tunnel that was a weak one Keep right. yeah like a winter storm ice or snow that's what you, I would have expected not tornadoes in December that's fairly unusual as I come into this corner fairly hot. I wonder if those road like markers ever actually closed. And I hope to have remedied the audio issues I was having because I'm in the process of debating am I going to send this microphone that I have back and trade it in and go for a different brand, different model, or do I need to just continue to go with this one? Because I think I've diagnosed a little bit of the issues, and I'll just let everybody know. I'll just put it out on Front Street a little bit. The I got the Blue Yeti microphone. And it's kind of odd where you're talking to the side, but that's not really my, the serious issue I was having. My issue was related to the, it's got a gain or volume knob on the back, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with. The microphone, it's very common and popular, which the sound quality when it's working is fine. But, uh, well, first I gotta be full, fully up front and say that me being bad at most things was not ready to set it up properly. And I will su use this as an excuse that when I unboxed it and plugged it into the PC, the Logitech like installer and software that I have installed for my wheel that I'm using and my uh, mouse was did not pop up 
like it, it popped up either in the background and I just exited out of it thinking it was the wheel or the mouse like doing an update but I was not aware that I needed to I, th I well I was confused as to why it didn't have any like install like software with it and it did but I didn't see it so doing a little tinkering around getting it set up for recording and for streaming doing or moving around the gain knob on the back well I think that it very well either is broke or from like the extensive 10 plus hour vi amount of videos I've watched on it maybe the gain knob is kind of just broke by nature because it will like seriously if I just like touch it it will go from this level right here either dead quiet or like I'm like gain just distorted just bass boost pretty much Ooh, about drove off the road I look over at my phone see dangerous you, you remember the PSA from the first video Uh, yeah I don't know like it will we'll just like turn it up to 11 or turn it to 0 oh roundabout this is the dumbest the dumbest invention of all of roundabout stupid nobody needs roundabouts in life About, didn't hit that curb didn't hit that curb Oh yeah, we are back, boys. Go straight on. We're we're gamers now. Oh uh, yeah, like I don't know, but I ordered another microphone, and I will not put them on front street yet. I will either be complimentary or I will be overly critical about their performance in a future video which I just ordered it like two three days ago and it I will say it is a XLR mic so it's going to be oh yeah we we have achieved equality through seeing the whole equality state we do love equality here. Love us the equality. In the equality state. Wyoming. Cowboys from Wyoming probably. I'm gonna after I get done I'm gonna take a quick break and go put me on some coffee as you know. That is my jam, coffee. We know. Gotta have the coffee. And uh, that'll remind me I'll shout out my Atlanta Braves. Drinking out of a World Series champion, Atlanta Braves mug. Shout out to the boys. Get ready to turn right. Yeah, I will. I'm not going to make like a review video of that mic sure or this right. mic. I'm just going to like use it and see what I can figure out. Then hopefully the audio issues will be resolved either through that mic or I will just send that back and realize that I, it was all on my user error and just like keep continue trying to dial this microphone in a little bit but I think well I'll finish my story real quick that once I like got in the Finally. installer menu yeah. and like reinstalled it all it actually works a lot better I just if I want to like change the volume I will just we'll pull in here because I will try to like I said, if y'all want me to part like over in there, I can do it. It's just it just takes so much longer because I'm bad. So 
If you want me to do it, I will. I'll start parking, like in there. But they do add like, like that forklift in the way, just to make it a little more difficult, which is kind of unrealistic. Like, some of your drops will be more difficult, just because they're tighter spaces in like small parking lots and stuff. But every one of them is not going to be like something in your way like that. So, I'm going to end this job real quick.